Hello Summoners, welcome back to another damage comparison video. This is going to be the Battle of the Hulks and it's going to be the OG Hulk versus Ra Hulk Ragnarok or uh, Gladiator Hulk, whatever you want to call him. And I will want to say that utility wise he is definitely out of the where he's useful especially against degeneration and stuff like that. Like I remember, I think it was variant 1 which had like a star burst, uh, it had plenty, a lot of star burst lanes in chapter 3 I believe and uh, I didn't have gladiator hulk at that time and it basically meant that either you have to use a lot of revives or you're ne not getting through that uh, like there were not that many counters when it was initially released variant 1 when it was released was actually very very hard and then uh, variant 2 came out he was excel character so I remember for a long time I really really wanted to pull this guy as a 6 star champion but damage output wise especially when you don't have face me he is not anything special uh, the damage is average i'd say and og hulk is weird because damage is pretty much all he has he has big poison immunity i guess there there are a few scenarios like caustic temper where having like one star hulk <laughs> Uh, again there is a variant where if you don't have a one star hulk you're basically not getting the exploration rewards um, uh, but the combination of uh, being person immune and having a fury could be useful like i, I personally think I, I did use him for the mr sinister fight when, when i was exploring that chapter uh, in act 6 but uh, overall i say the biggest the best phase for the OG Hulk has been uh, when we were still with rank 5 4 stars he was initially buffed after 12.0 and those days he was actually very very strong like uh, I remember when the collector fight came out when you, you were getting uncollected I didn't have a rank 4 5 star most people didn't have a rank 4 5 star uh, and um, like a lot of people used OG Hulk because the thing is he starts off with pretty bad damage but his awakened ability like as you have low health your damage increases and increases and increases he still has a pretty low crit rate and stuff like stats wise he's down there but his damage gets really really high when he is at low health nothing crazy by the, uh, today's time <laughs> like not cosmic ghost rider not hella with odin synergy but uh, way above average and uh, back in the day like we used to use uh, re collector fight was definitely not soloable back then and uh, you were going to use revives so people used revives with him and they got a lot of damage done there is also some stun lock potential with him like it's not a permanent stun lock or anything but there are the stuns are definitely nice to have that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching honey stay subscribed to the channel stay safe like share subscribe bye bye